Story time about how my best friend waxed off my eyebrow in my sleep, so I cut her hair. So a little background information. I was 14 and in eighth grade, and my best friends and I were having a sleepover. And right before we had went to sleep, we were all talking about this one TikTok trend that was going around. It's like this trend where girls would go and put wax on their boyfriends while they were sleeping and then take it off. Well, I didn't think anything of it, so that night I went to sleep. I should have knew this was gonna happen because I'm always the butt of the joke whenever it comes to our friend group. Like I'm always the one getting picked on. Like there was this one thing that my friend Ashley saw online. It was like, if you put white nail polish on your teeth, it would make your teeth whiter. So who did they decide to try it out on? Yup, me. And yes, I could have said no, but these were my best friends. I didn't think that they would intentionally hurt me. Anyway, so like I said, I go to sleep and all of a sudden I wake up in the middle of the night to something very, very, very hot on my face. I open my eyes and all of my friends are standing above me with their flashlights on. Like for part two. Part two about how my best friend waxed off my eyebrow while I was asleep, so I cut her hair. So like I said, went to sleep, didn't think anything was going to happen, and then I wake up and all of them are standing above me with their flashlights on. And then I realize that Ashley has a stick in her hand. Once I realized that there was wax on the other end of the stick, I started screaming. So then Kelsey decides to cover my mouth. She's like, shh, it's not that bad, I promise, like, don't worry. I get up real quick, I run to the bathroom, and there's like this pink transparent wax on my eyebrow. It was about 3 a.m. and we're all sitting there trying to find ways to get this wax off of my fucking eyebrow. Well, then Amber goes, I'm tired of this, grabs it and rips it off my forehead. So I'm crying at this point. Like, I'm in eighth grade, I'm about to have my glow up and y'all gotta ruin it with taking my eyebrow off. So nobody went to sleep for the rest of the night because they thought that I was gonna do something to them. So I acted all cool. I was like, no, it's fine. I can just draw it on. When in reality, I was going to cut this bitch's hair. Like for part three. Part three about how my best friend waxed off my eyebrow in my sleep, so I cut her hair. So like I said, nobody went to sleep for the rest of the night. I acted like it was okay because I was plotting in my head that I was going to cut one of their fucking ponytails off. So I go over to their house next week. And every single day that week, they were telling me how good my drawn-on eyebrow looked. Um, It didn't actually look good. And none of my hairs were growing back. So around 12 o'clock, all of us are ready to go to bed. I'm laying down pretending that I'm sleeping and they think I'm sleeping. So they're over there talking shit about me on her bed, Ashley's bed. I wasn't sure which one's eyebrow I should rip off because the one ripped off my eyebrow, but then the other one put the wax on my eyebrow. They were like, she's sleeping. I don't think she's going to do anything. She doesn't even have the balls to do anything. So around four in the morning, everybody is dead asleep. I get up and Ashley had her hair in a ponytail. So that was easy enough. I grabbed a pair of scissors out of my book bag and I cut her hair off. Time about how I stole my best friend's boyfriend. So a little background information. I was 14 and in eighth grade. And we're going to call my best friend Ashley. Ashley was really nice at first. She always had my back when I needed her. But then out of nowhere, she started being super rude to me. She turned into one of those pick-me girls that would always make fun of you in front of other guys, talk crap about you to the guy that you liked. Well, the one day I hear her talking shit about me whenever we were in class. And everybody could hear her. She was literally on the whole other side of the class. And I asked her, hey, like, why were you talking about me? She was like, no, I was talking about a different girl. And I had a pretty unique name, so I was like, who else in the school could you have been talking about? But I just brushed it off. Well, then we were in algebra class and I heard her talking shit about me again. How I do my makeup so bad and I can never get a boyfriend. Like, I'm so ugly and all that stuff. Well, she thought that I wasn't mad at her. So she came up to me the one day and was like, OMG, I have a boyfriend. Like for part two. Part two about how I stole my best friend's boyfriend. So like I said, she would talk shit about me all the time. And I only confronted her that one time. So she thought that we were all good. So the one day before class starts, she runs up to me. She's like, oh my God, you'll never guess what? I have a boyfriend. She's like, he's so cute. He's really popular. He's on the football team. And I was like, girl, whatever. Nobody cares. Until I'm sitting in my first class of the day. And I remember that she made out with my boyfriend last year. I forgave her, of course. But because karma was taking a little bit too long, I figured I had to do something about it myself. So my plan was to hook up with her boyfriend. Do I feel bad about it? Absolutely not. So I went to my school's football game. And guess who I saw? My best friend's boyfriend. She couldn't make it that night. She had something to do. So I had him all to myself. So I went up to him. I started flirting with him. And I was like, oh, you should break up with your girlfriend and date me instead. But then he was like, I thought you guys were best friends and I would never date you. Like for part 
part three about how I stole my best friend's boyfriend. So like I said, I went to the football game. She wasn't there because she had something else to do. I went up to him. I started flirting. I told him that he should break up with her and date me instead. And I also said that she was a bitch and a whole bunch of other stuff. And he was like, why would you say that about your best friend? And he was like, I would never date you. And I had a feeling this would happen. So I had photoshopped a picture of her and this guy that she sits next to in her lab class. And I showed it to him and I was like, see, she's cheating on you. So he was pissed off. He gave me his number. And the next day he came over to my house. We cuddled, watched movies. We kissed. After three months, Ashley found out. We hadn't talked to each other since then. But now I am 16 in 10th grade and still with her ex-boyfriend. Funny thing though, the picture that I photoshopped with her and that guy, she's literally dating him now. So you're welcome, I guess. But anyway, she still goes around talking shit on me. I mean, who can blame her? I did steal- Story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy. So a little background information, I was 15 and it was my freshman year of high school. And I had been dating this guy for three months who we're gonna call Jacob. He was a part of the popular group and was known for cheating on all his past girlfriends. But why would I see that as a red flag? Because I'm fucking dumb. Anyways, of course he was cheating on me too, and people would tell me that. At first I wanted to leave him, but the problem was he came from a super rich family and he was really cute. So in reality, I really only wanted to stay with him so that way he would keep spoiling me with expensive gifts. He would literally buy me anything and everything I wanted. So my best friend, who we can call Taylor, she came over for a sleepover. The whole night we talked about Jacob cheating on me and she asked me why I had not broken up with him yet. So I told her why I wouldn't leave and then she hyped me up. She was like, period, sis, do what you gotta do. Well, then I I came up with this super good plan for my best friend and I both to get gifts from him and use him. So then I came out and I said, you should be a side chick. Like for part two. Part two about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy. So like I said before, he was cheating on me 24-7, but he was spending money on me 24-7. That's the reason why I wouldn't leave him. So then I told my best friend that she should be his side chick. So that way we could both use him for his money. So Taylor started flirting with him to try and make him want her too. And I may have given it a little push by giving her his Snapchat. So she tried to slide in his DMs and then also tried texting him on Snapchat. At first, his cheating ass did not want to do anything with her. And I was like, the one time. The one time. Anyways, he was like, I'm with your best friend right now. I don't think we should do this. But of course, like all boys who cheat, he ended up meeting up with her. And they started sneaking around. Meanwhile, I knew all the tea. Taylor was telling me everything. Taylor started getting things from him 24-7 and he looked so stupid. Well, then we decided to fuck with him one more time. Like for part three. Story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy at the same time. So like I said, she was sneaking around with him. Meanwhile, she was telling me everything. He was buying her gifts. He was buying me gifts. So everything was perfect. But we had one little trick left up our sleeves. We decided that we would both make a wish list and put everything that we wanted on there. And at the end of the month, we would have a sleepover, bring everything that we got. Well, on the night of the sleepover, we brought everything. And let me tell you, this filled up my king-size bed. There was stuff all on the floor. So what did I do? I took a video of it and I uploaded it to Instagram, tagging him and his friends and wrote a long-ass caption, basically saying, if you cross me, this is what will happen. You'll get played. He was so embarrassed, his friends and everyone at school basically laughed at his dumb ass. Well, he ended up telling his mommy about it, and they came and talked to my parents. And they pretty much just told them to get the fuck over it, like your son did what he did willingly. She didn't do anything wrong. She meaning me. My dad was kind of mad at me, but my mom was super impressed about it, and we laugh about it all the time. Story time about the girl who used me to get with my guy best friend. So a little background information, I was 15 and in ninth grade. Well, at the end of summer, right before school started... This girl named Liv added me on Snapchat. And I had seen her all around school. She was very popular and a little bit stuck up. But I added her back and then I got a call on Snapchat from her. I answer very awkwardly and I'm like, hi. And then she was like, oh, I've seen you in a lot of this guy's pictures. Are you guys like best friends? And I'm like, yeah, sort of. And she goes, have you ever thought about dating him? It was just an extremely weird out of nowhere conversation. Anyway, so fast forward two weeks, I walk in the first day of school with my best friend Tommy, and Tommy and I have like every single class together. For some reason, Liv thought that we were friends, and she would come and go as she pleased. Like Tommy and I would be standing at my locker, she would come over. Anyways, fast forward to chemistry. She walks in the class, winks at Tommy, like for part two. Part two about the girl who used me to get with my guy best friend. So like I said, we were in chemistry, she walks in and she winks at Tommy. 
And I look over real quick and I realize that her nails were vermilion. That's Tommy's favorite color. And by the way, like I said before, I did not know this girl at all. We had never hung out. She never talked to me before this. Not to mention, any time that her and I talked, she would only talk about Tommy. Fast forward a couple days, we're in chemistry, and somehow she got her assigned seat next to me. And she was like, hey, do you want to study for the chemistry test together? And I was kind of excited because I thought that I had a new best friend. So I said, yeah, later on, she comes to my house. I never told her an address or anything like that. So I was very creeped out about how she knew my address. We studied for the test and she goes, hey, do you want to hang out with Tommy and a few other guys tomorrow? Well, tomorrow was the day that I was going out of town. So she goes, okay, maybe next week. After being out of town, I came back on a Saturday. And the next day I get a text from Tommy, like for part three. Part three about the girl who used me to get with my guy best friend. So like I said, she asked me if I wanted to hang out with Tommy and a few other guys. I told her that I was going out of town. When I got back from out of town, the next day I get a text from Tommy. He was flipping out on me. He said that I was talking shit about him to live. And apparently I said that I was happy that his mother died. And a bunch of other bullshit. Well, after that, Tommy cut me off, so I was lonely, and I started hanging out with Liv more, even though she said that terrible stuff to Tommy and made him cut me off. So fast forward a year, he is a new best friend, right? I get a DM from her on Instagram saying like, hey, did Tommy used to be your best friend? Pretty much everybody knew what happened between me and Tommy, but she was like, that girl that you're best friends with is dating him now, and then he completely cut me off. So technically, she used both her and I to get with Tommy. But after dating for literally like two months, he cheated on her because she slept with five other guys. Story time about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So a little background information. I was 15 and in ninth grade. And we're going to call my boyfriend Alex. Alex and I had been together for six months. And at the beginning of our relationship, his best friend, who we're going to call Caleb, him and I literally despised each other. But Alex would always want all three of us to hang out, so we decided that we had to get along. So we decided to keep it civil only when we were with Alex. Well, fast forward, all of a sudden, Caleb's grown-ass sister starts hanging out with Caleb and Alex 24-7. And it was weird because she was like a senior hanging out with a freshman. But I didn't think anything of it at first. Well, then out of nowhere, while I was at school, like a week later, Alex says that him and I need to have a talk. So we start walking away from Caleb, and as we're walking away, Caleb looks at me and gives me, like, this good luck look. Then he told me that he wanted us to take a break. Like for part two. Part two about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So like I said, he tells me that we need to talk, and then he goes, I think we should take a break. Like, what do you mean, take a break? Well, funny thing, throughout this whole break, he was still being touchy with me, still acting like we were in a whole-ass relationship. And the whole time, I was acting like I was fine, so that way I didn't want him to feel bad for me and felt like he had to get back together with me. And he was acting like nothing happened. Like I said, it was getting to the point where all my friends had started asking if him and I were back together. And I had to be like, no, we're not back together yet. Well, then Friday rolls around, aka two weeks later, and he tells me that he misses me. Shocker. So then he said he wanted to get back together. I said yes, obviously, because I still really liked him and I was a dumbass not to see the red flags. Well, now that it was second time around of us being together, I started to notice the first flags that I didn't notice in the beginning of our relationship. Like the one time he went to the mall with his friends and he gave these girls his Snapchat. He wasn't going to tell me about it, but then his friends told me, like for part three. Part three about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So like I said, I started noticing red flags. Well, when I had confronted him about the Snapchat thing, he told me that he felt bad if he didn't give it to them because he didn't want to be mean. Another red flag is that he would never, ever, 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 ever let me touch his phone. Like if he even saw my eyes look at his phone for 0.2 seconds, he would grab it real quick. Anyways, back to him getting with Caleb's sister. When we had got back together after our break, this one girl came up to me and she was like, hey, I have to tell you something. I didn't think it was going to be anything about my relationship with Alex, but here we go. She goes, he broke up with you to hook up with some other girl. So obviously I'm fuming. I go up to him and I'm like, did you break up with me to go and hook up with another girl? He goes, that's in the past. Why are you mad about it? Like we were broken up. Clearly he thought it was okay just to break up whenever you want to go do shit with someone else. Apparently she said that they could do stuff if we broke up. But I ended up finding out that she does this to all of her little brother's friends. Story time. Would you call this cheating? So a little background information. I was 16 and a sophomore in high school. And I was dating this guy who we're going to call Tom, right? 
When we started dating, everything was super good. But a little bit into our relationship, I started to get the ick. Anything and everything he would do would literally irritate the hell out of me. So at that point, I told him that we should take a break. So we did. Well, while we were on this little break, I decided to go out with my cousin the one night. And she had brought this guy who she was talking to at the time. We're going to call him Jake. Jake and I had the same classes in school, but we never really talked to each other. Well, I started to get to know him throughout the night, and I realized we had a lot in common. I felt like he was flirting with me, so I decided to flirt with him. When we got home, I had told her how much I really liked Jake. We ended up FaceTiming and falling asleep on the phone together. We all hung out again the next day, and I invited him back to my house. Like for part two. Would you consider this cheating part two? So like I said, we all decided to hang out again the next day. It was really cold out, so I invited everybody back to my house. And when we got back to my house, we were watching horror films. And I was cuddling next to Jake on the couch. And listen, I wanted to kiss him really bad, but Tom and I had just gotten done with our so-called break. So I decided to be loyal and not do that. Well, a few days after Jake and I talking, I realized that I wanted to be with him and not Tom. So I decided to end things with Tom. And now Jake and I have been together for a year and two months and we couldn't be happier. But every time that we bring up Tom, Jake always tells me that I cheated on him. Would you consider what I did cheating? Story time, I was the toxic best friend. So a little background information, I was 16 and a sophomore in high school. And at the beginning of the year, I met this girl who we're gonna call Riley. Riley and I hit it off straight away. Like a week after knowing each other, she knew everything about me and I knew everything about her. Well, then she tells me about this guy that she's talking to, who we're gonna call Jay. She said that they would hook up sometimes and he would text her sometimes. But she said that I couldn't tell anybody because he said that it had to be a secret. So I tried telling her that he sounded like a fuckboy, but she decided she was going to do whatever she wanted. And I was like, okay. So fast forward to the end of the year, he adds me on Snapchat. Okay, don't get me wrong. He was really hot, but I had my own thing going on. So I really didn't pay that much attention to him. And I thought he maybe added me on Snapchat to be like, oh my God, I really like your best friend. And then I also was caught between a rock and a hard place. Do I tell my best friend that the guy that she likes just added me on Snapchat? Or do I lie to her? Well, I was going to tell her until I got a Snapchat from him, like for part two. Part two about how I was the toxic best friend. So like I said, I didn't know whether I should tell her that he added me on Snapchat or if I should. And I was going to until I got a Snapchat from him. Saying, hey, you're really pretty. Um, I think we should talk sometime. So I ended up telling her about it because I felt really bad. And she was like, this is why I can't trust girls. Like, you need to unadd him right now. Like, fucking block him. And I'm like, I didn't even do anything. Like, what the fuck? So whatever. I end up blocking him. It's fine. Until he texts me one day. And he's like, hey, it's Jay. Um, I think you blocked me on Snapchat, lol. And him and I had talked a little bit in school and I kind of started to like him. Well, fast forward, him and I ended up hooking up a few times. We were talking a lot. And he hadn't been texting Riley as much. Well, the one night while I was sleeping over her house, my phone was going off a lot. And I didn't think to delete any of the messages, like for part three. Part three about how I was the toxic best friend. So like I said, I was sleeping over her house the one night. My phone was blowing up and she knows my password and everything. And I stupidly did not delete the text messages between Jay and I. And I kid you not, I wake up to a slap across the face. It felt like she slapped me with her fist and it looked like it too because I had a black eye. So I woke up and she's like, what the fuck? Like, I hate you so much. Like, why would you do this? And I look down and she has my phone right in her hand on the text messages with Jay. And I ended up feeling really bad because she started crying saying that like, I knew that she liked him a lot. And I also knew the reason why he wasn't texting her as much. Well, then she ran downstairs and she told her mom. And the next thing I know, I had her, her mom, and her three other sisters screaming at me. And then I got blocked by Jay because she wasn't supposed to know and she leaked his nudes. Story time, my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. So a little background information, I was 18 and a freshman in college. So my boyfriend and I have been dating for three years going on four. And we were pretty much what you call a very toxic relationship. We would break up with each other, then get back together five minutes later. I would say that it's all really my boyfriend's fault. Because instead of spending time with me, he would rather go out to the club and sleep with any whore that he could find. 
but he would always start an argument with me before he went to the club so that way he had a reason to cheat on me. And he's been doing this ever since we first started dating. I don't know why I didn't take that as a red flag, but I'm a dumb bitch who lacks common sense and is completely blind to red flags. So I started a private Snapchat, but I used it as almost like an OnlyFans. Except it was free. I added a bunch of guys on there and my boyfriend's cousins. His one cousin was my best friend and would low-key hype me up. Like for part two. Part two about how my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. So like I said, I made this private Snapchat that was basically like an OnlyFans. And I had his cousin on there who was low-key my best friend. And he would low-key always hype me up on my thirst traps. So eventually I sent him a whole nude picture of myself. His cousin had a girlfriend, but neither of us were going to tell our significant others. And I told his cousin that I would sleep with him if he cheats on me again. Well, what do you know? A few nights later, he calls me starting an argument before he goes to the club. So I go to bed. I'm bawling my eyes out. And he calls me at 3 in the morning asking for me to get an Uber for him and some friends. But I hear a girl talking in the back. So obviously I gave him a hard time about it. So he hangs up on me, calls me 20 minutes later, and I hear this girl talking in Spanish in the background. Me being me, I assume the worst. I assume that he cheated on me. So he calls me the next day saying that we need to talk. I go over there. He says he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Life for part three. Part three about how my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. So like I said, he calls me over to his house. He says that I'm the problem in the relationship. He I'm the reason why he cheats on me 24-7. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I leave and I go to his cousin's house and his cousin kind of does the deed on me. After that, I leave because I really wasn't trying to do the nasty. So a few weeks later, my boyfriend texts me saying, I need to talk to you, da-da-da. And we're not together at this point, mind you. And he's like, hey, like, I just feel like you're really not being honest with me. Like, I want to get back together, but I feel like you're unfaithful. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? You literally cheat on me 24-7. So I give him my phone to go through it. I thought I deleted everything, but I didn't delete a conversation between my best friend and I. So I'm bawling my eyes out, turn on my game face for lying. And I'm like, I swear to God, like, I didn't cheat on you. It was a prank. But he did the nasty with that girl, so I think we're even. So obviously I got back with him and we've been together for four years. Story time about how I slept with my teacher and got pregnant. Little background information, I was 18 and in 12th grade. I had always had trouble in school, especially history class. And I had always had tutors and everything like that. And eventually I just got tired of trying to get my grade up because I realized that it was never going to happen. So my teacher was 27 years old. We're going to call him Mike. And Mike had a girlfriend. He had been staying after school helping me like every single day. From like 3 o'clock till 5 o'clock. Well, the one day I had this outfit on, that maybe wasn't that appropriate. And I was being super flirty with him the whole time. To be honest, I just didn't want to put in the effort to get up my grades. And then 10 minutes later, he started getting handsy. And I told him that if he wanted to do anything, he had to get my grade up for me. So he did just that. Well, for the next couple of months, I would go over to his house to study. Like for part two. Part two about how I slept with my teacher and got pregnant. So like I said, I got tired of putting effort in to get my grade up. So I let him hit and then I was going over his house after school. Well, later on at the end of the year, I find out that I'm pregnant. And because I was 18, I really didn't have to care about what my parents thought. So I told him and surprisingly, this man was on board with it. He was like, oh my God, like, let's do this. I'm so happy. And I was like, what the fuck? Well, his ex-girlfriend found out, so she went and told the school he got fired. And three years later, we're still together raising our child.